Uh, okay, we are live now. Let me look if we check it. Sound is clear. Yes. Testing, testing, testing. Yes. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Sound is clear. Yes. Testing, testing. Yeah, yeah it sounds good. good. So, yeah, man. So, with that, we want to start off to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rahakodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of great millstone who teach and do well and taught us the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect. Scattered to all four corners of the earth, our fellow laborers who push this work and word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, man. Today we're gonna go in uh in a little bit history, man. Uh about uh that the Europe was ruled by uh, uh the Israelites. They really was calling them Moors, but that we are Israelites, man. So today we wanna go into this, you know, and uh yeah, hey, y'all were at the South, we're going to bring also more uh, evidence that uh, the so-called black people ruled Europe, man. You see? So, uh, yeah, man, the brother's going to start off, you know, to uh, read a couple of uh, uh, articles and uh, also uh, some evidence that we ruled Europe, man. Yeah. And I shared my screen, so you're supposed to press um, add to stream. Go on. You can press that. Thank you. Yeah, so this is a letter from Ben. Let me see if you can see it. Why is it blurry? Oh. Well, bear with us for a second. Here, Benjamin Franklin. 1706 till 1790 observations concerning the increase of mankind people of countries and by benjamin franklin boston printed and sold by s neeland in queen street 1755 so this is a letter of ben Fr benjamin franklin speaking about the increasing of mankind in america observations concerning the increase of mankind people of countries so this is a letter that benjamin franklin wrote himself and it ended off with let's see here this is page 224 and it says uh point 24 which leads me to add one remark that the number of purely white people in the world is um, pro proportionable, propor proportionably very small. Okay. All Africa is black or tawny. Asia, chiefly tawny. America, uh, exclusive of the newcomers, wholly so. And in Europe, the Spaniards, Italians, French, Russians, and Swedes are generally of what we call a swarthy complexion, as are the Germans also. The Saxons only accepted who with the English make the principal body of white people on the face of the earth. Amen. Got it out? Yeah, so you see, man. And you see, so uh, Benjamin, Fra uh, Benjamin Franklin knew, knew who uh, in that Europe were uh, Swadi people, and Swadi is 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 black, you know. In the English, he's going to say black, you know. And uh, also, um, I want to show you that word uh, Tony. Bear with me. Let let me look it up, you know, because they knew, man. They knew uh, that uh, Jake was everywhere, man. You know, uh, in these times, man. That's why they they changed the whole history, man, about about who we really were, man. So bear with me. Let me look up that word, Tony. Yeah, and it says in Europe, the Spaniards, Italians, French, Russians, and Swedes are generally of what we 
called a swarthy complexion. So it's not only one area or one region. No, man, it's a, it's a bunch of countries that we uh, ruled in, you know. Oh. But, but in this instance, we're going to focus on a, a German tapestry that, uh, you know, was published. And that's how we can uh, uh, um, show you that we ruled Europe. Shit. So, yeah, man. Uh... I'm going to share the screen for a moment, Baba Kesha. You, me... you can put it in the in the private chat. Then I'm going to click the link. and then I can Yeah, then you can click the link. Come on, let me do that. So that you can explain the word Tony. Bear with me. Come on. Tony of an orange brown or yellowish brown color. An orange brown or yellowish brown color. So you see that, man. So that's why he was talking about uh, uh, China. So the Moab, you know, and all these other nations. A, a lot of these other nations have you. They have uh, a, a, a colored complexion, you know, and. Jake, you know the the the, the so-called Negroes. They come in all kinds of uh, different shades of uh, brown, man. You know, you see, because nobody is really black. You know, we come and in, also in, says in all kinds. It also is like it also says here the origin. Uh, it's from Middle English, from Old French "tain," from uh, "tan," tan bark, related to "tan." You see yeah you see so that is what it is man you see because we are not really black we are brown people man and you got different shades of uh of brown man you know you got dark brown you got a little bit lighter you see me and the brother too man we are different shades of of, of brown man you know there is no such thing as black people you know we are not black man black is it's, it's a void of light man and we are not black man but they used to call us like that short uh, you know uh, 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 black people, you know, but we are not black people, man. We are the original Hebrew Israelites where the Bible speaks of, man. And uh, like David also was uh, a, a ruddy, you know, and that is funny. If you put that word ruddy, you know, uh, he's always like, yeah, that is uh, that is a reddish, uh, <laughs> that is a reddish color, but that is not true, man. <laughs> you see? Because if you put a ruddy, um, a ruddy uh, uh, horse, yeah, exactly. That looks to me looks brown. You see. So David was also uh, King David. You know, it was also brown man. But if it comes uh, to us, they always want to change the whole narrative. Then it is like now because they don't want you to be those people, man. So Esau's really funny, man. <laughs> You see? Yeah. Let me get clearly can see, man. This is um, brown. Karnak. This is Songs of Solomon. Songs of Solomon 1, verse 5. I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as of the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon, look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun had looked upon me, my mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyard, but mine own vineyard have I not kept. Yeah, man. And that was King Solomon explaining, you know, because the 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 tents of Kadar that is this black, you know, it's dark, you know. Mm -hmm. And he was explaining, like, hey man, I, I'm I'm a dark man, you see. So the, the Israelites from before, the, the wet dark skinned people, man, there's no doubt about it, you see? So that whole thing that Esau did to paint himself and make himself the image that he, that uh, King Solomon and King David were uh, uh, white people or maybe uh, 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 they always said like Middle Eastern person. What is Middle Eastern person? You know, because Middle East is also a term that is made up in the ladder later you know 
so because before we had minor i uh minor i asia you know uh that region was called asia man you see yeah. so middle east is something that they just came up with man because Esau changed the whole all the landmarks he, he called uh lands after his name you know also in the scripture you know and that is what he did man that's why everything is flipped upside down man you see i have the the ruddy Karnak. this is um first samuel 17 verse 42 and when the philistine looked upon uh, it's like that when the philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, God, that, yeah. And that is what it is, man. This is ruddy. What you see here on the screen, this is ruddy. And so it means uh, King David had this uh you color, man, this 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 different shade of brown, you see. He was not dark like Wesley Snipe, but he had that color like this, man. So he was a brown man, like you see the brother over here, man. You see, so that is that is what it is, man. And that are all black, that are all so-called black people, man. The Israelites are dark-skinned people, man. Because I hate that word black, you know, that they say that you black people, the land of the black. There is no land of the black, man. That's crazy. You see? Yeah. So yeah, man. So uh, 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 Benjamin Franklin knew who uh, the Israelites were, man. He knew. Can I read he, this part? He knew Karnak. It says here, "Why increase the sons of Africa by planting them in America, where we have so fair an opportunity by excluding all blacks and tawnies of increasing the lovely white and red? But perhaps I am partial." To the complexion of my country for such kind of par partiality is natural to mankind so basically he's uh he, he was racist he didn't want uh anybody of color in that country he wanted to keep it you know all edomites mm -hmm. That's, yeah. yeah that is what it is man and uh that is that mindset of a lot of the uh, these edomites man and they took the country of uh, from the the native americans you know and uh, basically uh, murdered them man it is uh, like estimated they killed about uh, almost 100 million and maybe more because that is what the records are saying you know they uh, almost killed uh, uh, 100 million uh, natives man imagine that man it's crazy you see so Esau got to pay for that too, man. And then later you take the country, and then you're going to say that nobody can come in, in over that. Like uh, Trump was talking about, he want to build a wall for the Mexicans, but they were the first inhabitants of that land. So what the hell, you yeah. you either mind something else, man. You see? Yeah, it says uh, six, uh, 56 million indigenous people were killed. Over about hundred years in the South, Central, and North America. Yeah. Fifty-six. You see million. that? Yeah. This crazy man, you know. So they 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 slaughtered a lot of a lot, lot of natives, man, and also uh, uh, the southern tribe, man, because that is the northern tribe. But they also slaughtered the northern northern of uh, the southern uh, the northern tribe over there, you know. And and the southern tribe, man, they was slaughtered heavily, man, in America. That's why the blood that they spilled over there, man, hey, it got to be repaid with blood. The only blood gonna cleanse the land, man. You know, so the most high requires also their blood, man. Maybe you can get that scripture, uh, Baba Kesha. Yeah. You know, because America's drained and drenched with the blood of uh of the Israelites, man, the tribe of Judah, you know. And the tribe of Ephraim, Karnak. This is Numbers 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for the bl for blood it polluted the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So you see, Esau's blood need to be shed for in order to cleanse uh, the land, man. So America, Babylon the Great, is going to be Hey, the, the Edomites, the blood is going to flow over them, man. <laughs> the Most High is going to cleanse them with their blood, man. And that is what it is, man. Blood for blood, man. And the Most High deals with that, man. 
because the land is polluted. America on this particular time, that's why you see all the madness and everything is happening in America, is polluted, man. And it needs to be cleansed. And with the blood of whom? Of the, the Edomites, the one that shed the blood in that land, man. Come. So, yeah, man. So, uh, like the brother was uh, going into in Benjamin Franklin, you know, uh, that he knew that the, there was dark-skinned people in Europe, man, and in particular he was talking about Germany. So, the brother uh, going to show you, man, this is an old tapestry, you know, and it yeah. stems from uh, the 40, 14th century, you know, and you yeah. clearly can see that there are dark-skinned people, you know, of of royalty in castles. This yeah. is something that they don't teach you in the schools, never, nowhere, not in in in, uh, in the Netherlands where we are, not in uh, America. Ne they don't teach you this, man. That the 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 so-called uh, black people ruled Europe, man. And you see that here is the royalties, man. Dark skin yeah. people, man. You see, you have the king. The queen, the prince, yeah, you know, and you see here people, the watchmen standing on the towers, blowing the horns. Let me see. I think I got the other one. <clears throat> yeah. Here you see, they're blowing the, the horns. Watchmen. You see them with uh, bow and arrows. You know, going and, to protect and who they are the fighting king and the queen. Yeah. Yeah, and against who they fighting. You see here, these, these are the Edomites, man. This is clear. And this is a tapestry from the 14th century, you know. And you see that here, like wild man, you know. You see the you see the countenance. You see the way that they are, what they are wearing. They are hairy. Like in the scriptures, man. <laughs> you see? Yeah, yeah. These are the, those wild men, man. The Edomites, they try to invade the castle. So Jake, they had all kinds of weapons you know already you know bow with iron and brass and they yeah. came with sticks <laughs> you see yeah it's true because um here i got this book um see the negro the negro question part four the missing link and it says uh let me see german tapestry 1400 depicting black soldiers defending a black king and queen in the windows from attacking white men called by whites wild men and moors so you yeah. also see, you see that they have um oh it's like yeah i'm zooming in the wrong thing here bow and arrows and you can see that it's a it's an iron tip you see mm -hmm. And for example, the the horn, you know, is kind of a brownish bronze. So fresh the brass. And yeah, uh, Professor Boyd Dawkins, page six of his book, The Little Black Bass, brought the knowledge of iron and brass with them. You see? Yeah, like man. the brother said, we already had that knowledge, you see. But exactly. Esau, he comes with what? Sticks and stones. You see? Yeah. So the, the black German civilization was more developed than these uh, wild men. Yeah. You see? In the 1400s. And what happened in the 1400s? The Renaissance time uh, came, you know, because they took over. You know that was the big quest that uh, Columbus made the quest to the to uh, North America, man, because they never be, uh, went over there. So you see, so Jake, then that was the time that Jake's whole empire went down, man. And uh, these people also was called uh, called a wild man, wood wolves. You know the the brother uh, uh, from uh, from New York, uh, he made uh, he made also an an. an video about that about the wood walls so when i saw that i was like hey this the tapestry that we are seeing because they said that they said that this is a folklore 
you know, that this is uh, a, a mythical fi figure, but that is really them. Because if you look the pair, <laughs> if you look the the tapestry, you see exactly the resemblance of these uh, uh, wood walls. You know, so that was Esau Edom. You know. And you see that, man, that is clear as day. If you like, can connect the link, you know, the spirit, you have that spirit, your eye self, you can really see that this was no folklore. That is really them, man. Maybe you can read a little bit of uh, Baba Kasha uh, about the wood walls, the wild man. Let me see. Wood walls, wiki. Captain Caveman, they are the real cavemen. And this was not a long time ago, man. You see, this is like, uh, this is not even like a thousand years ago, man, that they was dwelling in, in the woods and in the caves. You know? Yep. Come on, this is uh, the wild man from Wikipedia. The wild man, wild man of the woods or wood woes is a mythical figure and myth that appears in the art and uh, literature of medieval Europe comparable to the satire or fang type in classical myth mythology and to Sylvanus, the Roman god of woodlands. The defining characteristic of the figure is, it wild is its wildness. From the 12th century, it was um, consistently depicted as being covered with hair. Images okay. of wild men appear in the carved and painting roof bosses where intersection, so like, yeah, intersecting RG vaults meet in uh, Santa, okay. Santa Canterbury. 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 In positions so, where one is also likely to encounter the vegetal green man. Go on. Go on. So you see what the brother is reading, and we went to the tap uh, the tapestry, and that was a real depiction of what was really happening, man. And these so-called what they now call mythical figures, there's nothing mythical about it. That was real. The wood walls were these people, man. And they were savages, man. They were uh, they was uh, eating raw meat. You know, that's really Esau Edom, man. When he was brought to a lower state, you see, this was this was his real. Uh, this is his real true form, man. You know, no covered in, <laughs> yeah, on on, on, on barefooted. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we had shoes on. They was barefooted. You see, so they had no uh, no civilization at all, man. They were really base men. Like they stated in the book of Job, man. And we're going to go over there, man. Come on. Let me see. This is uh, Job 30, verse 8. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Yeah, man. You see? Base men. And what is the what the word? What is that word base? That is like on the, on the ground, man. Under the ground, you know, basement. You see, so there was base. These people, these Edomites, these so-called white men, were base men, and this is really depicted. This is an old depiction who they really were, man. You see, now they want to act like they are civilized, and you know they brought civilization through the whole world, but that is not true, man. This is who they really was, man. And you see, they always wanted war, so like yeah. they always want war. They always was uh, after Jake. They want to have the position, you know. Because they was jealous because they was not civilized like us, man. All these castles that is, are, are built through the whole, whole of Europe, that is really the so-called black man built, uh, built those things, man. Also here in the Netherlands, man. You know, uh, we, had a uh, we have a brother also from uh, Chicago. You know, uh, he told me one time he was here in Holland, you know, also from GMS. He was here in Holland, he told me. And he said he went to, uh, you have here... Uh, the murder, uh, they call it the murder uh, slot castle. He knows, man, because we was talking about it. And he said, man, on um, he saw, saw a lot of uh, depictions, you know, um, uh, on on the on the walls from Jake, man, you know, carved. Yeah, you saw uh, so-called Negroes, man, depictions, man. So we ruled in Europe, man. 
But Esau broke everything down because he don't want to be reminded about that that they were the these 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 cave people, man. Yeah. You see? It shows and you not, that uh, yeah. caves and in trees and uh, you know, like the brothers uh, yeah. saying. Yeah, man. So this is his natural state, man. This is how Esau was living, man. And that's why this world is in, 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 in upside down, man. You see? Because Esau rules this world, man. And he's a base, man. He's filer than the earth because they are really file. The way that they live in and you see the, the, the way that he's living and that he's file till the day of today, man. That's why he come with all kinds of madness, all these rules. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So this is Esau, his natural state. And he's going to go back in that state again, man. You know, if Yahweh is going to come, man, he's going to put this Edomite back in this state, man. You know, base man. Because uh, maybe you can uh, go a little bit uh, up uh, in the book of Job, you know. Because thi this is the time that they was uh, braying, you know, oh, 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 like donkeys. You see? Yeah, yeah. Really base man, and that is not a, a million years ago, like he tried to portray to you. Yeah, we were the caveman a million years ago. The earth is not old, old like that, man. You see, yeah. But Esau with the pseudoscience, he tried to turn everything upside down, you know. <laughs> a yeah. steam like as a potter's clay, <laughs> you know. This devil is something, man. I got it. This is uh Job 30, verse 5. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. You see? Under the bushes they braid. You see? This is the way they were. The way braying is uh, like a donkey is doing. Oh, oh, oh. That is the way they was communicating, man. Really base man. And that was not a long time ago. This this tapestry shows you that they were like a thousand years ago. They were in this uh, state, man. You know, brain. Uh, 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 you know, Can I living it? in the in the kind of, living no. in the woods, living in the woods, living in the cliffs, in the rocks. That was the habitat, man. And now they're acting all civilized, civilized you know? <laughs> Funny. Karnak, what you want to say? Yeah, like uh, this book says, the tapestry shows that the whites lived in tree houses and in caves. They were basically poor, while the technology and wealth was in the hands of the blacks. If I was focused on race, I would have missed the true treasure that the tapestry possessed. The real treasure on this tapestry is the technology and civilization of the black German population. We cannot allow ourselves to fall into the pit of hate because of what the new world order has done in history. We have an obligation, all colors of people, to seek the truth and to teach the truth, no matter how hard it is to swallow. Yeah. Yeah, man. You see? But hey, man, that's why, hey, uh maybe uh, can you go to uh second Ezra chapter six and verse twenty-eight, Babu Kesha? This is second Ezra okay. six verse twenty-eight, and it reads As for faith it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. You see, so you know the faith because the faith now, you know, all over the world, you know, the Israelites, man, hey man, all over the world, man, the faith, you know, is getting stronger and stronger. You know, we know who we are, we know, remember these things again. The internet is, is is showing you all these things, you know, so knowledge is increasing. We see that now, man. And and the, this this truth that was hidden for so long, you know, you know, that Esau did, you know, with his uh iconoclasm, we're gonna go over that too, you know. It is now made manifest, man. Everything is made manifest now, man. We can see everything clear now, man. So all the things that he is, uh, wants to hide for us, hey, man, 
everything is now at, uh, in the light, man. So you can, they cannot hide it anymore, man. So that's why Esau is also in the hurry to uh, perform his new world order, man. You see? Go on, Nakia. You want me to go in this uh, article? Can yeah, can. Yeah, this is from uh, Black Cent Black Central Europe .com. and this is uh, entitled "Wild Men and Morse," approximately fourteen hundred and forty. So, this remarkable medieval tapestry depicts a battle between giant wild men clothed only in forest products, or perhaps their own hair and the <laughs> civilized defenders of a castle. Of course, more notable is the contrast in skin color and the reversal of our expectations that white should de denote civilization and black the lack thereof. The wild giants with their unkempt, unkempt hair and beards attack with sticks and stones. In the other two sections of the tapestry, they battle with a lion, a dragon, and a unicorn heraldic symbols representing authority and power, and then presents gifts of wild game to a mother and child in a cave. You see? In caves, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, uh, you see it, man. We, uh, hey, the scriptures are on point, man. They were living in the caves and not a long time ago, man. You know, this was this is what Esau Edom, uh, Edom really is, man. He was a base man living in the caves, you know, and 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 and, and Harry, you know, you're gonna read that also in the, the book of Genesis, you know, that he was a really hairy man. Esau was a hairy man, you know. And this is what his their forefather his fourth their forefather was, man, a hairy man, you know, and this is what future prophecy was saying that he gonna live. You know he's gonna be a, a real base man because when he was with Isaac and uh, and, and J Jacob, he was not like that before, man. You know, but that was future prophecy that he gonna live like that. His his uh, his uh, offspring. You see. I also have a precept about the cave. Anna. This is Obadiah, Obadiah one, verse three. The pride of thine heart had deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? You see? And Esau Edom, also uh, in the time of Mount Seir, he all, always was living up high in the mountains, in the caves, man. That is his habitation. Until the day of today, he also lives in, uh, if you can see, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the United States, you know, in Babylon the Great. They build their skyscrapers, man. Always he want to live up high. And the most high don't want, you know, we like Israelites live, you know, like that high, man, in a, in a storage building, man. But he's a lot of that, man. And he feels like he's an eagle. He's the, 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 the top dog of the world, man. And, you know, looking all over the world like he is the one, you know. But, hey, his pride has deceived him, man. He's deceived, you know, because the most high have him in derision, man. Because he ain't going to prevail, man. He ain't going to be that. This kingdom ain't going to last forever, man. You know? Because that is what he's thinking. And that's why he tried to perform his so-called uh, new world, man. You know? That he's going to be the most high, man. Like it stated in the book of Second Thessalonians, man. That he can sit in the temple of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that he is uh, a god. But ain't going to happen, man. No, 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 Esau. Your rulership is over, man. Almost. Yeah, Mount Seir. Yeah, this is where he dwelt. And this is uh, the caves in the rocks that he dwelt in, you know, in Mount Petra, Mount Seir, which Mount uh, Petra, that's what he stole from uh, the Canaanites even back then. You know, that's his that's his yeah. MO. Yeah, rob Robin, yeah. murder, and steal. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, and Mount so, Seir also means uh, in the Hebrew is, uh, if I'm correct, uh, Mount uh, Sire, and that means hairy man. You see, 
So Esau is that hairy man and all the reverence, you know, hey, that's why the Mosai is funny, man. He got really a sense of humor with everything, man. It's a really, it's beautiful, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let me grab it real quick. Come on, Yeah, if I'm correct, it was uh, hairy. Salak, yeah. yeah, that's good. Mount Seer. Yeah. yeah, you see? And the last one, it's uh, Shayar. Shayar, Khan. Yeah. Harry. And that's also a good point to bring out then the Genesis. Khan. Let me see. Genesis 25. Can it also get 27 and first 11? They're gonna explain he's hairy, you know. 27 and 11. Uh, you can't 27 and 11. Genesis, yeah. This is Genesis 27, first 11. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, peradventure, will feel me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son, only obey my voice and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory meat such as his father loved, and Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands, and opened the smooth of his neck, and upon the smooth of his neck. And he gave the savory meat and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. You see, so uh, you see over there that you know when uh, Jacob uh, wanted to, needed the blessing because it was all predestined, you know that uh, Jacob was uh, going to take the blessing from Esau, you know. So it, and his mother it was, it was told to his mother already, you know. So it was Esau of uh, Jacob was a little bit like, "Hey man, I'm going to get a cur I'm going to get be cursed for that, you know, because I tried to because Jacob means supplanter, Jacob, you know. But hey, he was like, "No nah, man, I cannot do that," you know, but. He's already sold already his birthright for one morsel of meat, you know, that he already did it. But you know how Esau is, man. He always, um, he makes a deal with you. And after that, you want to come back oh, <laughs> from that, you know, he'd be like, hey, oh, oh no, oh, <laughs> that is Esau, you know. But hey, but the point is that uh, he, uh, to, uh, uh, yeah, to fool Isaac, basically, uh, uh, basically, was like he had to put some gold skin on his on his uh on his hands and uh, you know in his neck yeah. you know because Esau was hairy you know that makes it clear over there that it was a he was a hairy man you see yeah. Yeah. so because uh, most of the time uh people go uh, uh they go in the scripture of uh Genesis 25 like hairy uh, like a garment maybe you can pull that out but that yeah. don't mean does doesn't mean that he was hairy you know yeah this is uh, Genesis 25 verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. You see, like a hairy garment, you know. So it was not literally that he was hairy, you know, that his skin was hairy already when he was born. But uh, back in the day, she had these garments, you know, these uh, dyed, uh, red dyed painted garments, you know, and they were red, you know. And because his uh, skin is translucent, you can see the blood. And that you see with all the white people, you know, because they are really red, you know, and you can see the blood through the skin, 
You know, that's why he was described like that. And no, they, they didn't talk about Jacob because back in those times, uh, everybody had you had the color, you know, at the uh, at uh, at the tan. You see, yeah. but he was the one that was born strange, like hey, huh? he don't get pigmentation, you know. And if you want to go really deep a little bit in the meat, you can see that he is a reincarnation of Cain, you know, because Cain had the mark, you know, that he, his pigmentation was stripped of him. Eh? And he was also the one that was uh, uh, skilled with the weapons. And, you know, so if, if you're spiritual, you can link these things with each other, you know. So, Khan, you have? I have the hairy garment. This is, um, is uh, so like, yeah. Exodus 26, verse 14. And thou shalt make a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red and a covering above of badger's skin yeah so man that, so you see it you can't break it down huh? yeah so that's where you see that um the comparison of a dyed garment or of a hairy garment it comes from this because the hairy garment that's what we used to dye in different colors you know if you wanted to, a red one then you then you uh dye it that the uh, um, ram skin or that goat skin that badger skin you dye it red so that's why they made the comparison because of the the, the skin the skin uh, skin color difference you know cool. yeah man so hey, it's crystal clear man so so you can see now that the uh the they were hairy hairy they are hairy uh, people man you know a lot of these edomites and especially if you go uh to uh turkey and of course there are also turkey edomites you know and really hairy people man you can see it clearly man you know, so yeah, man, that was it on uh, yeah. this a little bit. Huh? You, want, you want the rest of this or uh, you want to go into the 1400s? Come on, let me go to the 1400s. Come on, this is a uh, revelation. Revelation 20. Let me start at the uh, first one. Revelation 20, verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Yeah, and man. And the bo huh? No, go ahead. Yeah, the, and the bottomless pit, that is Europe, you know, because you, Europe they has no almost no natural resources you know like the rest of the earth has man so europe is that bottomless pit man you know and the edomites you know later on they start to rule europe uh, the romans you know because before but we're gonna uh, bring that back in another lesson you had the etruscans here you know and they were the they are the uh the uh how you call it the the offspring of uh, Japheth, man you see so, but uh, in the time of Alexander the Great, you know, he started to uh, take over uh, Greece and then he started to, uh, they took over Rome and they took over basically Europe, you know. So that is how the quest went, you know. So, but mm -hmm. Europe is really a bottomless pit, man. Yeah. And after that, you know, because uh, the Romans, when they ruled, you know, uh, they was called the pagan Roman Empire, but that went down too, you see. So that was that period because hey uh, we need to tell you too that Esau Edom is the wicked and called is the Satan because Satan is also a man you have the spiritual being Satan but also Esau Edom you know because he comes in the likeness in the spirit of uh, Satan you know so he was he was locked up you know and that mean that was this time this particular time that he was locked up that means that he felt from his his, his so-called grace you know and the most high locked him up so that he went in that state that he was a base man, was a uh, brain, and that is what you see in here on the tapestry, you know. So that was the state he went in, and he was locked up. But in the Renaissance time, you know, and uh, that is uh, when he was born again, he came back in power. You see, he was uh, 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 revived, you know, that he was revived back in power, you know, and uh, that is the period that we are in now. Got yeah. Let me get this uh, word. I think I have it here. Had so many things open. <laughs> Let me just look it up. Uh, 
um, Renaissance, like the brother just said, Renaissance at them online, a great period of revival of classical based art and learning in Europe that began in the 14th century. The French Renaissance, uh, Renaissance literally rebirthed. And if you go to, let me see, from Latin, to be born again, rise again, reappear, be renewed, from re again, and nasi, be born, and old Latin, uh, nasi, from the root gene, to give birth, to beget. You see, born again, you see? He's born again, and that is the, the, he was born again because he was shut up for a, for a thousand years, man. And that was the time, so that you can see the Morsos ruling and the Benzatine Empire, you know, and the Morsos ruling in this particular time. That were really Israelites, you see, and they yeah. ruled Europe, man. And Esau in the in the in the 1400s, he came back. That's why you see here they are attacking the castle, and this was the time that Jake went down. Yep. Yeah, man. And this is also something that he did. Iconoclasm. He came with yeah. iconoclasm. And if you go into that, it means the belief in uh, participation in or sanction of destroying religious icons and other symbols or monuments, usually with religious or political motives. Yeah, man. And what was his motive to 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 blind the whole world, man? That nobody, uh, that nobody know this really truth that uh, the the dark skin races, uh, and the, and I'm talking about the Israelites ruled uh, Europe, man. That is that big secret, man. On your schools, they don't teach you this. You know, they always said that they were the one ruling forever, man. That they are those people, man. You see that they are those knights, they are King James, they are everybody, man. Matter of fact, can you get uh, me uh, the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24? Because that is what they did, yep. man. This is Job 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And that is Esau either, man. In the Renaissance time, he came back, and the first thing that he did, you know, is painted the face. He painted all these uh, uh, these uh, artworks and everything that uh, reminds you of uh, the so-called uh, uh, Negroes. He painted over, and all, especially the saints, especially uh, the, the Yahawa by Shem Yawashai, because he made also a painting that uh, you see a white dude, you know, in naked, you know, and touching the finger of uh, of Adam. You see, the brother's going to bring it up, you know, because you know exactly what I mean, you know, that, uh, that painting, you know. That is wicked, man. You know, and that is what Esau Edom did, man. He painted the faces of all the uh, the real judges over, man. Gone. Yeah, that is that picture naked is that greek that greek mental uh, <clears throat> mythology <throat> yeah yeah but you had a uh, other one right the the one with uh, um what was it in russia jesus thank yeah Which one was it? Because these are the actual depictions of, of uh, the, 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 of the, the judges saints. of the Most High. Yeah, the saints. Yeah. yeah. And Russia don't. Yeah, Putin. Putin. You got a lot of pictures with Putin standing behind the real, uh, the real depictions of the saints, man. You know, they didn't cover it up, man. You know, but he's uh, over here in the West, you know, the Edomites over here, they covered everything all, all, uh, up, man. You know, so that you can, you can always think it like, hey, the, the the saints, the apostles, everybody was like white, white, <laughs> you know, 
That is what it did, man. But here are the true depictions. You see, the brother put, uh, uh, pulls it up. These are the real depictions of the the saints, man. Dark skinned people, man. You know. Yeah, got a precept. And Karnak. This is uh, First Maccabees three, verse forty-eight. And late opened the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. You see. So the heathen, when they saw these the pictures, they see everywhere they saw Jake, they see dark skinned people, you know, they are the, the 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 holy ones. And hey, Esau was flipping the hell out, man. He was like, No, we can have that. This is our kingdom now, you know. We took over. Hey, we're gonna make everything white, you know. Just also yeah. in the book, in the in the scriptures, everybody he painted over he'd be like no nope, they are white abraham is white uh moses is white everybody was white you know they're all edomites yeah. you know they always ruled there is no 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 uh, uh recognition anymore from the moors we don't want to know nothing just shut it down Boom. that is what it is brainwash the children uh, in the school system also and uh, teach them that everybody was white and this is the horrible thing that they did, man, because what they did, and um, the, the brother can speak with me about it, because I, I had my uh, family, you know, especially the old people, you know, that are in the 70s, so I'm already passed away, 70, 80 years old. They had all that 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 white uh, Jesus crazy in their house, man, you know, <laughs> you know, and he's an idol, man. They had it all, Caesar Boshe was in the house, man. That is what Esau did, and that is also something that he going to pay for that, man. You know that he 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 brainwashed our people, man, with that man. You know, with that image. You know, because in my head, also when I was young, you didn't know these things. When you was little, you see and you think like, hey, that's why when I was young, I wanted to have nothing to do really with uh with the scriptures because I was always something like I was like, hey, man, I see that that long hair, sees a boche, you know, with that red heart. You remember that one? And he's standing and you have a, a, a painting in the house like that, man. That is horrible, man. It's really horrible, man. And that is the image that a lot of our people still have in their head. That's why they trust these devils so much, man. You know, yeah, so. because they cannot. <laughs> because that that man, that Cesare Borgia, you know, he's he's a, a king a demon himself. You know, having sex with his with his own um, sister, and he was, you know, uh, swinging both ways because he also let who was it? um the, the, those painters paint him and i think they were also his lovers you know mm -hmm. so he painted Mike. himself he let the, them paint him as a son of god because it's like hey wait a second uh the pope my father you know he's the the first pope he's he's the father right so paint me as the son as a son of god you know because i'm his son you see so that's yeah. how that whole thing uh, started, and that, that's that's a, a filthy, a filthy man, filthy image. You know, that's how that that vibration. You bring that vibration in your home. You don't even know the yeah. history about that man. You know, you think he's a yeah. uh, Jeezy crazy, that he's Jesus, but no, man, that's a whole uh, other entity that you're bringing in your household. That's right. Yeah, man. And yeah, the, to 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 add a little bit onto it, that was Michelangelo who yeah. painted uh painted him you know so and that's why uh they have a painting with him you know with a so-called with the last supper with the with the apostles you know but that is that is a fraud man that what what better fact that were thieves he called a lot of uh, a few criminals he called a few criminals you know and they said yeah pose with me for this uh for this painting man so there's a really corrupt uh a corrupt painting you see yeah. what the brother is saying man <laughs> yeah man Khan. Here, so here I also have the, the word iconoclast, which is a breaker or destroyer of images, 1590s, from French iconoclasty, and uh, directly from medieval Latin uh, iconoclasties, which, yeah, basically it goes into image, iconoclasty is image, and uh, clasties is breaker. To break images and that's what they did they they painted over mm -hmm. them and also they broke a, a whole lot of uh, noses in that time period yeah. you know because that's one of the the authentic uh, features of a uh, uh, dark-skinned man of the so-called negros oh. uh latinos and native americans you know that we have a 
uh, large nose, you know, that's prominent. Gone. Yeah, so man. Like, nope. Break them all. Yeah, break them all. So that is what it is, man. And uh, like the brother is saying, can you go to the book of Isaiah chapter uh, 25? Go on. Let me uh, finish yeah. the, the Revelations 20. Oh, God. Let me go to that. Because we stopped at verse 2 at Satan. God. And this is uh, Revelations 20, verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Yeah, man. And that is because uh, he was locked up here in Europe. You know, he was in the like we was uh, seeing on the tapestry in the caves, in the bushes, you know, wood walls. You know, braying, walking around, you know, in, in, in forest clothing, you know, so he had basically had no clothing. You know, his clothes also was deteriorating from his skin. Because if you go to uh, Arthur, uh, what's his name? Arthur Kushler, Kushler, if I'm correct, he described that too, man, that the Edomites were really dirty people, man. They wear the clothes till it was deteriorated from their, from their, uh, from their body, man. That is nasty, man. That means you never wash your 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 pants is sticking to your legs and ugh, it's horrible, man. You know, so there you are, really yeah. dirty people, and they still have these traits, man. Because here in Amsterdam, uh, my 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 parents told me, like here in Amsterdam, when they came from Suriname, they had already showers, you know. But when they came in Holland in Amsterdam, they had no showers in the houses, man. They go uh, no. once in a week. <laughs> you know, they go once in a week, they go to a, a, a bathing house, man, you know, to bathe yeah. over there, man. And that is once in a week. They're so, hey, imagine the smell, man, from these people, man. It's horrible. My, my parents was like, it is horrible. They was washing. They had a, a little, uh, how you call it, a faucet, you know, and they was washing, you know, to, to you know, and make uh, waters in, uh, uh, how you call it, um, in these... Uh, uh, hot water. They was cooking hot water and it was thrown in a tile. You know, for not not a tile. How you call it in the Netherlands? A tile. In the Dutch, it's a tile, but in a bucket. Let me say a big bucket. You know, and they throw the water in it. You know, and they was washing. You know, because they want to be clean. You see, but these Edomites, man. Sometimes I was I've seen that too. They 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 go out of the bed and they don't wash and. You know, and they do this for the whole week, man. Sometimes I'm working with some of these people and you smell the smell. You'd be like, hey, this is old sweat, man. You didn't shower for for, for for the whole week, maybe longer. You don't know, man. But that is, hey, that is disgusting, man. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, man, to come back to uh, the, the, the book of Revelation, what the brother was reading in uh, first, uh, uh, first 20. Yeah. You know, yeah, so... Yeah, God, you know, so Esau was locked up, man. You know, the most high threw away the key, and that meant that he was in that state, you know, in that basement state, you know. But in the Renaissance time, the most high, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, let him loose for a season, for a moment, to what to punish us, the, the Israelites, because in that particular time, he was going off too, because the Moors, a lot of them was in more, were Muslim, they did a, lot, a whole lot of other things, man, and that is idols worshiping. And the most high, the, the, the God, the, the power of uh, uh, Abraham, Abraham, Jacob, and I, uh, Isaac and Jacob, it's not down with that, man. You know, we only need to pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. You know, the, the 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 power of Israel, man, and no other gods have, don't have no other gods in uh, before him, man. And that is what it is. That's why we were, went back in slavery, you know. And this time was the the, the worst slavery we went in because why? He stripped us of our uh, identity. We didn't know who we were anymore. That's why we call ourselves uh, African Americans, Afro Suriname, uh, uh, all kinds of these island names, you know. Because we lost it, man. You know, and Esau beat it out of us that we don't know who we are anymore, and that's why to further the pro, uh, the, the the infliction, he he I, he did everything with iconoclasm, you know, to that no remembrances anymore from Israel, man. He yeah, thought so, you know. Kind of. This is Jeremiah seventeen verse four, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. You see, perfect, and that is what is what is happening, man. The Yahweh Shemiel was really is really 
was really vexed with us, you know, because now the remnant is returning, you know, but he was really vexed with his people, man. That's why he gave us in captivity to our enemies, man, and the worst of the worst, the Edomites, because he set these base men up, man, you know, and the most high, can, hey, he can even, I always say it, man, and it is also in the script, it's scriptural, you know, that, hey, he can set the, uh, even he can uh, uh, glorify a, a piece of dung, you know, <laughs> he can glorify it like, hey, man, like it, that it is gold. That is what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai can do. Nothing is impossible. Uh, no. with so like it. And you mean on um, the thing that he can even let stones worship him? That's the one. Gone. Yeah, that is the one. That is what I mean. You know, Tawada. You know, and that is what it is, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai can do everything. Nothing is impossible. Yeah. And that's why we need to fear this power, man. That is no jokes, man. You know, that's why we, the remnant, Yahweh Ratasa, we coming back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and repenting, man, from our, our, our transgressions, what we did against the Lord, you know. Karnak. Let me get it, bring mm -hmm. or so that you know that it's not our own words. Uh, raise up stones. This is Matthew 3, verse 9. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Yeah. Can break it down. Yeah, man. So like the brother was going into, you know, the most high, he he doesn't need need us, you know. Don't be like, Yeah, I'm from the stock of Abraham, so yeah, I'm good, you know, this thing is given to me. No, 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 no. Is the most high he can do whatever he wants so he can even bring up stones to worship him you know exactly everything yeah, everything is, is created by him you know and for him for yahweh shai he gave everything to yahweh shai so he can he can make and break whatever he wants so don't don't be uh, proud in this thing of ours you know that's right that's true yeah, man beautiful set man that's what it is the, man i also have the word uh, deceive from uh, Revelation 20, verse 3. Let me see. Planao, an outline of biblical usage, says to cause to stray, to lead astray, lead aside from the right way, to go astray, wander, roam about. So that's what Esau's doing, man. He's, he's leading our people astray. He's leading everybody astray, all these nations. You know, that's why the Most High said, uh, Esau has been a, a, like a golden cup in my hand, you know. Babylon mm -hmm. has been a golden cup in my hand. That's Esau. Esau is giving everybody uh, deception and deceit, you know. He's not he's not mm -hmm. dealing straight and uh, uh, correct and righteous with, with uh, these other nations. Not only us, but all these other nations. That's why the, what was it, Isaiah 25... Isaiah 25, verse 7, <clears throat> it says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And that mountain, that mountain, mountain is Esau because uh, mountain represents rulership. You know, when they always yep. go to the their G, uh, what was it? G7 or G7. something? G7. Yeah, yeah, G7. Summit. Yeah. yeah. Because the summit is a peak of a mountain, and that's where the, the peak of all these governments meet, all the heads meet, and then they make the important decisions. So the Most High said, and he will destroy in this mountain, which is Esau, because Esau is that destroying mountain. Let me grab that real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51, verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, said Yahweh, which destroyed, destroys all the earth, and will stretch out my hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. So that destroying mountain is Esau, and he's going to make it a burnt mountain. He's going to burn him with the fervent heat, with nuclear fire. You see? 
But going back to Isaiah 25 or 7, uh, and he's going to destroy this mountain and face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And if you go into that word veil, let me see. Isaiah 25, verse 7. Veil, which is Mazaka, Mazaka in the Lashmar Kodash. The outline of the book of usage says, web covering veil woven stuff. And that's what Isa does. Isa comes with a with a whole web, you know, with whole confusion. He, he comes up with snares, you know, traps to trap you up. That's yeah. that web, that web of confusion, that web of, of, of deceit, the covering. So to be covered with something, it means also that you have a, a oh yeah, how do you how do you call it? You have uh, authority uh, over it. You have authority yeah. over it. It's like when a woman is covered when she meets her her husband. You know, she she's kind of uh, shameful and stuff like that, and then she has this feel. So that that is a way of showing submission that you are submissive. So if you go into that word yeah. veil, let me see if I can. Slayer, no meaning. To cover with a veil, cover a thing that serves to cover. But yeah, that, that whole meaning of being covered goes into submission submission so this yeah. these people these all these nations are in submission through esau's lies through esau's deceit through esau's uh, uh um you know is how you call it all these uh um lies that he comes with basically his mm -hmm. philosophies you see yeah yeah that is what it is man and that is that that the the what the brother is saying these lies that these uh um yeah how you call it uh that that uh that witchcraft because that is all, also a form of witchcraft that he's using you know because all these lies is a form of witchcraft that's why in the book also if i say if i'm correct is for uh 47 a hey, stand down now with thy enchantments because these are all enchantments that these are either is uh pulling up uh, over the world man you know and that's why you know we need to be armored with uh with the full armor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man, like stated in the book of Ephesians, you know. We gotta be stay strong, man, because hey, Esau is throwing out enchantments daily, man, by the second, and especially now, man. So okay. if you're not armed well with uh Yahweh Bashem Yahweh uh, uh covering, because that is also a covering, but a covering of righteousness, you know, hey, you're gonna have <laughs> you hey, you cannot cannot gonna stand stand the wells of the devil, man. You see. Karnak, yeah? yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 47, verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. You see? So Esau is, is, is constantly throwing enchantments, man, uh, upon the people, man. You know, and he profits very well from it because what he did with uh, iconoclasm, he profits from it, man. You know, to to blind the people and especially to have Jake in the state. You know, he profits from it, man, very well. You see, so that makes him rich, man. And his trafficking of of people, everything what he's doing, it is all profitable, profitable for Esau either, man. You know. So yeah, man, and he's laboring this from uh, from the beginning, man, and uh, also that he was that serpent in the in the garden with Eve, you know, because that is he that is his enchantments, man. Because what the serpent did, he he misled uh, he misled uh, Eve, man. You see, and he came and uh, Esau Edom is in the same spirit, man, as the serpent. You see. I also have the Karnak. Ephesians. Karnak. Um... 
Yeah, let me grab it with the blue letter Bible also because we can't go into that word. Mm -hmm. Now let me uh, read it here real quick and then I'm going to look it up. This is um, Ephesians oh, yeah. 6 verse 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see? So we need to put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. So that means that we be uh, fully occupied in the scriptures, you know, praying, fasting, you know, so that, hey, we can stand against uh, Satan, man. And who is Satan? Satan is a man also, man. And that is Esau Eden because he comes in the likeness of Satan, you know. The spiritual, uh, the spiritual uh, being Satan is, is controlling him, man. You know, so he come after the work of Satan, like also in the book of uh, Second Thessalonians, you know. That is Esau Edom. So we need to stand against him, man. And that is only possible if we are fully clothed with... Uh, with uh, the, the scriptures with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man, the fully clothed, not a little bit, you know, of you know, you only have uh, only have an, a helmet, you know, but you don't have your buckler, you know, you don't have a shield. No, you got to be fully clothed, man, to stand against uh, the the wiles of the devil, man. You know, kind of, yeah. Yeah, and if you go into that word wiles, which is uh, metodia, and it says the outline of biblical usage. Cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. <laughs> you see, cunning. And who Esau Edom? There is no. He's the cunning. He's the the cunning. The real cunning beast of the field, man. That is the hey, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai didn't make no cunning beast like Esau Edom, man. Because he's the cunning beast of the field, man. Cunning and the, all all the beasts of the field, man. That is Esau Edom. That's yeah, why you need to watch out, man. Kind of, yeah. This is uh, Genesis 25, verse 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. You see? And that's why you see these devils are constantly out, man. Always searching for things, you know, always digging in things in the earth, always looking up iniquities, because that is what they basically always are doing. You know, his inward thoughts is deep. You know, he searched everything out, like in the book of Psalms, man, because that is what Esau Adam is doing, haunting, you know, and Jacob was always, you see how Jake is, man, Jake, hey, if Jake had got a little money, he can have his house, you know, he can chill a little bit, Jacob is good, man, but he's always want more, Is you know, he's never satisfied, man, that's why we're also in the book of Genesis, when he, he was haunting, but Jacob was in his tent, and he, see, he, cook, he was cooking something nice, you know, he was plain, he was simple, and then Esau, he was hunting and he was hungry. But if you are a hunter, why you didn't catch your own animal, you know, and, you know, you cook it, slaughter it, and you make it by yourself, you know? No. He was, uh, and that is what they're doing also, man. Killing animals, you know, uh, hang them up like trophies on the wall, you know, like, look my accomplishment. Jake ain't done with that big thing like that, man. If you come into Jake's house, you ain't going to see deer, a head of a deer, of a lion, of a bear in the house, man. Like, hey, look what I did, man. A trophy, you know, just kill for, just to kill for killing, you know. And that is what Esau's doing, man. Kind of, yeah. Uh, let me see. What did I have? Yeah, this is uh, Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means that that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the sin, the son of perdition. Uh, not wasn't that done. was the one with uh, working after Satan, right? But this also yeah, that is, uh, says it says uh, a falling away first, you know. So that's speaking about the that we were lose would lose our heritage that we um like i just read jeremiah 17 verse 4 that we would con discontinue from our heritage so uh yahweh wouldn't come before that thing happened so we had to go through that phase first and now we are in that second phase where that son of perdition is being revealed which that word perdition yeah. goes into destruction like we just read esau is that destroyer that is that destroying mountain so he is now being made bare. Everything, all these things that we're bringing out right now is to make him bare. 
is the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai to make him to show the world like this man is a liar, deceiver, you know. He all these things that he said that he made that he created, it wasn't him. Because we, you know, we were going in these things, the brother and I, and we saw castles, you know, that Esau says that he built. Uh, I don't know, maybe you want to show those castles also. Can yeah, we show them? Uh, and the, the first that you was looking for is first nine. Oh, uh, come in Second Thessalonians two and uh, two and nine. Come, this is Second uh, Thessalonians two verse nine. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man, uh, like the brother was saying, you have that spiritual demon Satan, but you also have that physical counterpart of his, which is Esau. Esau is that Satan worshiper here upon earth. You know, he comes in the working of Satan. That's his vibration. That's his spirit. You see? So, we are making him bear. We are showing you that this man is not to be trusted. You know, though he comes crouching like a, a you know, like a peasant or like he's real, real, um, that he has no uh, bad intentions, but you can't trust this man, man. You know, like the scripture says, what was it? Um, Sirach 2, no, Sirach, uh, Sirach 12, verse 10. Let me get that real quick. This is Sirach 12. Sirach. 12 verse 10 never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusted so is his wickedness so you can't trust this man man. you know he is uh, uh, our enemy and the most high made him like that like hey this man he's your enemy and you can't trust him you know he's using the most high is using Esau as a whipping stick but you can't trust him now this that the spirit of Yahweh is here heavy upon earth Everything is being made bare, man, that he is our enemy. That's right. Yeah, man. So that is what, what it is, man. You know, we see the we see Esau's kingdom is really going down, and that is that little season that he was loose. And that season is almost over, like Apostle Tahar saying, you go in his slavery, biatch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, hey, you know that, the most high has a man. perfect barbecue that he's going to throw before in that time you know which is uh america babylon the great is going to be that barbecue you know that's right. the people therein that those are going to be the meat for that barbecue Thanks. God. hey and uh like also stated in the book of revelation the the fowls and all the animals you know the 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 the, the fowls of the air the most high promised them a feast man you know yeah. so they're gonna hey they're gonna have a real real good feast man a lot of meat yeah. human meat <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah man i want to show you the castles real quick let me show it uh let me go into it bear with me okay what i'm doing yeah share screen Uh, it was over here. I'm good at, yeah, man. So here you see the the castles that the, the Moors built, built, man. And this is in Germany, castles of the Moors in Germany. You see it also here up top. Uh, Sintra. The castle of the Moors. You see this one over here. And this one they called uh, Neuschwanstein. You know, yeah, you know, we're from Holland, so we have a little bit the accents of the <laughs> of Germany, you know. So you see here, no uh, Neuschwanstein, you know, and uh, Neus uh, is nose in the in the Dutch, and you know, also in the, in Germany. So you see, because uh, this is on the nose of the of the rock. If you really look close, you see that over here, you know. So they can see the enemy approaching from sea up high, you know, and they are here at the edge. 
you see but this is what the Morse built man this is not uh Esau Eden built man that's why it's the castles of the Moor you see so yeah man and I had an other one I think this is from uh let me see yeah this is from uh the castle of Saint Saint Moor Maurits you know and he was a more uh that's call him saint and saint is holy you know he was uh one of the 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 royalties in uh germany man and i have a depiction also of him uh of saint Maurits bear with me i just pulled it up uh no uh where it is man so lucky um I had it. This is it, yeah. No man. This is uh the base man. Yeah, I have it. Uh no, but that is not I have a real uh, with uh, the statue of uh Saint Maurits. Don't know where up. Maybe we gotta Google it again. Uh Because you're gonna see that was a real Jake, man. Bear with me. Uh, so lucky. It was not this one. Uh, maybe I gotta Google it again, man. It was this one? Saint Maurits. Yeah, I got it. You see? Oh. This is a statue, man. You know, and it is in uh, in Germany. They said Deutschland. You know, der uh, der uh, Heilige, the Saint Maurits, Dom zu Magdeburg, in uh, Deutschland. Saint Maurits. This is him. This is him. Let me. You see, and like the brother was saying, you see what they did with the nose. They tried to, you know, but they couldn't hide because this is clearly you can see that this is a Negro, but they just want to be chipped off the nose you know because that makes it uh distinguish it that we are that this is that that, that this is a negro you know and they don't want that man you see that is saint Maurice, man and uh what i show you previous was uh the castle with uh, his castle you see so you can see it also with the tapestry jake was ruling europe man with ruling germany man you see so yeah man and of course if, later on they whitewash him because you have him over here a clean a so-called edomite now this is an edomite you know you see because this is that iconoclasm what we was talking about what esau was doing man you see now it is an edomite what the hell and you see saint maurits so these devils you know this is what they do this is what they do man you know they don't want to give jake the credit for nothing and it has always be like that because like the brother was reading in the book of sirach never trust that enemy you know he don't he's our enemy he's not your friend man these devils don't mean good well with you man so yep. don't 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 believe the hype <laughs> Karnak, yeah? i also have a picture Can let me this is for example in uh, holland this uh what is it indian they they know that the uh, natives that they were dark-skinned people you know that's why yeah. see, they depict them as as a dark-skinned man but when you read about uh, columbus and the indians you know it's uh it's it's, it's these these people from um india that you get in your mind the, the these elamites that you get in your mind no man you yeah. know that he was uh, looking for uh hebrew israelites because i was looking up uh more more in holland also got this one there's also yeah. a dark skin uh so-called yeah not a so-called there's a native a native from america you know with you see the the arrows and these uh the arrows and the how do you call it quiver mm -hmm. you see so these people know 
and you also have more heads in Amsterdam. Yeah. You see? You see? Oh, yeah, so man. like, yeah. The Morian. Jake dominated Europe, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Saint, but this is uh, Saint Mara. This is also Saint Maurice. Go on, go on. If I'm correct. See his statue? Yeah. With the golden cup in his hand, man. With the shield. Yeah. Moorish king. Moors who ruled of Europe. Yeah, man. And if if he had a coat of arms, because that is the, the signature, if you see with the shield, that means that you're of royalty, man. You know, and Jake had that, man. Yeah, the shield, right? This, yeah. Yeah, coat of arms. Royalty. Yeah, man. But what do they? I was looking for more heads. What do I got? We got this. Swart to Pete, you know, they mocking us yeah. and shit. Black That's Pete. why I went there. Yeah, Black Pete. When people from yeah, America man. or different countries hear this, they're like, what the fuck? People are still, you know, uh, um, sminking their, their faces. But yeah, now they, they, their faces off. Yeah. So how can you just smink your face and be like, okay, I came down a this this is a story about somebody that came down a chimney, but then all of a sudden he has uh, woolly hair, rings, earrings, uh, red lips. This this is just them mocking us, man. And now more clothing. Know, yeah, yeah. Colorful more clothing. clothing. Yeah. yeah. Well, but yeah. they say this either might say always so like yeah they always said like no we don't mock you he just like the brother was saying he just fell down the chimney and yeah he had all of a sudden he had uh, red lips he got cool uh, frizzy woolly hair and yeah and uh, yeah he got more moorish clothing but we don't mock you no we don't do that because we know we are not racist this is a little children party we do this for the children you know and now you so-called woke people try to stop our children festivity you know what we did for centuries that's yeah. an edomite for you man with that yeah. snake forked tongue you know mocking you openly you know and if you say something if you if you say something about it that devil is good the devil is going mad <laughs> hey, but hey mock how you want man but sooner or later man you're gonna get it you know it's gonna be over for you either man yeah man yeah. I have uh, two precepts. So let me see. Kanak, yeah. There's the book of Job, Job 30, verse 9. And now am I their song? Yea, I am their byword. And that's that's this man, where we're a byword yeah. and a proverb wherever we go. So this is them yeah, mocking us. They they are making songs from uh, about Black Pete, you know, and Santa Claus. So mm -hmm. that's that's the that's this man, the most high, he said it's going to come to pass and yeah, surely it came to pass. You know, we have became become their song and their byword, and also yeah, uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, one, verse eighteen. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. So now we are seeing these things. You know, you are getting wiser. But then it's it's grievous to you, like, hey, all this time, all these years, this is what they, they have been doing, you know, uh, yeah. mocking our people, destroying our statues, uh, destroying our heritage so that we can see that we are this great nation or the, this great people that we are, that we can be. All, the only thing that you think about is like, hey, you think about niggardom, you think about thugs and bitches and, you know, our people that, that they can't amount to anything. But we have a very rich history, you see? Mm -hmm. And this wisdom yeah. that you get is grievous because, you know, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrows. You're like, man, you know, 
what if our people yeah. knew about this you know then they would see like hey we are a royal people we are a great people but yeah it had to go down like that man that's why then you accept this this truth because you go through the highs and the lows you 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 find out all these things but after a while you're like no this is the most highest plan it's not everybody that's going to see this and it's going to be mad yeah. or or uh, see that he's oppressed like it says in ecclesiastes 7 and 7 um get that real quick surely oppression make it the wise man mad and a gift destroyed the heart so a yep. wise man he knows when he's being oppressed and this is this is some oppressive shit you know was was yeah, going around here that they're doing to our people yeah man that's why we said always here in uh me and other brother from the camp we always said these dutch edomites are some special people and they're gonna get it because a lot of their ancestors are there over in uh, Babylon the Great in America, man. And they did a lot of shit, man. They were the first one in the transatlantic uh, slavery, slave trade. They were the first one that uh, shipped the children of Israel away, man. That's why these special devils, they're going to get it, man. They was driving around with a golden couch uh, where you see uh, depicted, you see the Israelites, you know, uh, slaves, you know, and in a totally, fully golden couch and you see the so-called king and uh the the you know sitting or and his mother the that's queen and you know what the queen is you know <laughs> you know you see that the brother pulled it off man this is what we had what is happening here in the the netherlands man you know this is what these devils are doing man. look man And every year of his so-called uh, of that so-called celebration, what they have, they drive, they drove this couch around, you know, uh, wherever they are here in Holland, you know, and you know they dro drove it around, and they were sitting proud in the couch, you know, and also mocking us, you know. Now they don't do it anymore because of this so-called woke agenda, you know, but. Hey man, do what you want, man. Cause hey, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you try to hide it. You say sorry. Uh, we don't want you sorry, man. Like uh, the brother was reading in the book of Numbers, man. The the Most High requires your blood. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, we don't want your reparation. We don't want nothing, man. The Most High requires your blood, man. Eye for an eye, man. Hey, he that leadeth in captivity shall go in captivity, man. Like in the book of Revelations, man. You know, like you like you were saying that uh, they were the first to. Um, bring the slaves, but they were also the last ones to abolish slavery. He can't, yeah, he can't. I forget to say that also because that is what it is, man. That is what they did, man. These devils, man. You know, so you're gonna get a special reward too, man. You know, the most high sees everything, and that's why you see all these camps, you know, in all these places. You know, in Italy, we have a camp in uh, Germany. All the places, man, where the Israelites, you know, were put to shame, you know, by these Edomites. Hey, the Most High is raising up his uh, elect, man. And we are uh, calling it in existence that you devils, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yosha is going to punish you devils, man. Because it is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yosha, we are preaching this word, you know, and uh, reading your sentence, man. What is going to happen with you, man? You see? Because we ain't going to do nothing, man. You know, on this particular, we cannot do nothing. You, the Most High only said to us, preach this word, you know, and he's going to come for the for the enemy, man, Yahweh Shai, man. And that is what is going to happen, man. You see? Yeah. Look at this. Ghana, this also yeah. is also some mockery. Because before this, they called it uh, the Negersun, which was uh, yes. a Negro kiss, a nigger kiss. But then they, they got some, you know, some backlash. Then now they changed it into a Morkop, which also is some disrespectful shit because we were the yeah, moors man. and it's like the moors head yeah, you know that's, exactly that's what they call this candy yeah man constantly mocking us man right in our face constantly and jake is uh, so desanitized from this thing you know sensitized. yeah sensitized so, so like yeah you know he's so sensitized you know from this from this from this or so the jake doesn't matter anymore man jake is sometimes jake is uh gladly uh 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 accepting this man and also be calling himself these names and you know eating this stuff and if you say something jake be like hey you said they're telling you like hey man man it's normal man i call myself a, uh, also a negro of a moral head of you know and making jokes and uh, i see it on the word man you got some of these jakes man they lost man you know 
And we call them, uh, you know, in America, in the States, you're going to call them Oreo cookies and those those type of cake, you know. Uh, like the Elder Bishop always said, Uncle Tomahawks, you know. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot of these Uncle Tomahawks over here, man. You see? But, hey, this is what it is, man. So they are the two-thirds that we already know, man. Like, hey, Yao Bashem Yashai is going to get rid of them, man. Because they are the one that is really bucking up if we are on the highway and the byways and on the hatches. They are the one that is bucking up against us, man. You know, they're going hard for master, for master. Yeah, master. You know, <laughs> these <laughs> Uncle Tomahawks. Yeah, man. I think we went through all the things that we had. I don't have anything else. Yeah, man. So, so to close out with this. So yeah, man, this was part. Uh, this was part one, you know. Uh, we're gonna come back with another segment, you know, uh, with more uh, historical uh, segments, you know, about how the Moors ruled uh, Europe, you know. And uh, yeah, man, uh, I hope you was edified, you know, to see, uh, you know, that uh, that we brought this out to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai. So with that, you know, we're gonna close out. And we want to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rahakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and do well and taught us the truth out of the Bible. Peace and salutations to the elect, our fellow laborers who push in this word the truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.